Hello YouTube community, it's Robert S. And many of you may know me as a frequent visitor to other YouTube channels. I'm making this, which is my first YouTube video, in response to Glenn Kellaway's Push to 1000 Subscribers Contest. Glenn has already met and surpassed that goal, so congratulations to you, Glenn. In the contest, he's asked us to show three prog rock albums in our collection. So I'm going to do that, and I'll start with one of the classics, uh, classic groups of prog rock, and that is Yes. And this particular album is the best of, and it really highlights some of their really classic songs. You have I've Seen All Good People, Roundabout, Wondrous Stories. And as wondrous as these may be, uh, I'm not particularly a, a, a big fan of prog rock, so I don't know that I'll be exploring the rest of their catalog, but the best of is, is all I need in this case. Sorry, Glenn. Secondly, uh, a group that I, I suppose is considered prog rock, and I think some of their albums fit that particular category better than others. And I'm speaking of Jethro Tull, and I think this particular album, Thick as a Brick, really does meet that prog rock uh, category or genre, if you'd like. Um, it's got basically songs that go on and on for about 22 minutes or so. And uh, it really highlights sort of one of the things I don't like about prog rock. Um, it's kind of like watching uh, somebody's old family movies. You know, it's, it's good for the first few minutes, but then after a while, it's like, okay, let's, let's get this over with already. And the third group that I'm going to, or album I'm going to highlight here, is Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. Uh, this is a, a fantastic album. It really showcases the creativity and musical talents of the band, and I think it's a terrific album that every fan of prog rock should own. And in this particular CD... The cover's really cool, too. So that's it. Uh, Glenn, thank you for doing the contest. Good luck to everyone who's entered. And keep making videos.